if we could turn in our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. Over the next few weeks, uh, this will be a main passage for us in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse number 13. But today we will be starting from verse number 10. Esta escritura la vamos a estar estudiando por las siguientes semanas. Vamos a estudiar todo el capítulo de 1 Corintios 13, pero hoy vamos a enfocarnos en el versículo 10. Let's go ahead and turn there, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 10. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is perfect shall be done away. 1 Corintios capítulo 13, versículo 10. Mas cuando venga lo perfecto, entonces lo que es en parte se acabará. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Cuando yo era niño, hablaba como niño, pensaba como niño, juzgaba como niño. Mas cuando ya fui hombre, dejé lo que era de niño. For now we see through a glass darkly, but, the fa- but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. Ahora vemos por espejo oscuramente, mas entonces veremos cara a cara. Ahora conozco en parte, pero entonces conoceré como fui conocido. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three. But the greatest of these is charity. Y ahora permanecen la fe, la esperanza y el amor. Estos tres, pero el mayor de ellos es el amor. Amen. Today I will be speaking on hope. Hoy voy a estar hablando acerca de la esperanza. Amen. I know that there's a few distractions with the screen right now, but why don't we put our Bibles down and why don't we align ourselves with what God wants to do today? Alineémonos con lo que el Señor quiere hacer hoy. Vamos a orar. Would you lift your hands? Would you close your eyes? Father, we bind ourselves to your word today. We pray, Father, that your will would be done in this place Lord I bind every distraction I bind every spirit whether it be human or demonic that would try and come against uh, the service and the flow of what you want to do today Father I pray Lord in the name of Jesus Christ that you would open the eyes of our understanding God enlighten us to your word I pray Father that revelation knowledge would flow through this place God and that you would prepare our hearts for what we are about to receive in the name of Jesus, we pray. Would you clap your hands to the Lord as Señor. you're seated today? Ser Amen. As I mentioned, 1 Corinthians 13, uh, verse number uh, 13, will be our main passage for the next few weeks. And I want you to be studying that throughout the week. Me gustaría que estuviéramos estudiando esto en la semana. This is not just a message for today, this is a message for life. Esto no es solo un mensaje para hoy, pero es un mensaje para la vida. The Christmas season is upon us. Ya viene la temporada de la Navidad. We're seeing all the lights come out. Ya estamos viendo todas las luces. Thankfully we haven't seen too much snow yet. Amen. Amen. Qué bueno que no hemos visto mucha nieve todavía. If you're excited about snow, you are crazy. Si te gusta la nieve, estás loco. Or, or you're just not shoveling snow, one of the two. O no tienes que limpiar la nieve, alguna de las dos. But this is a season that I, I truly love. Pero es una temporada que de verdad me encanta. Uh, it's, a, it's a time to get to be with family, and, and uh, for my family, we get to spend some quality time with our kids. Es un tiempo que me gusta porque empiezo, paso tiempo con mi familia, tiempo importante con mi familia. Uh, one of our favorite things to do during the Christmas holiday is we like to watch Star Wars together. Y Lo que nos gusta hacer en la Navidad o en la, en, cuando tenemos tiempo libre es ver and, Star Wars. And after, Guerra de las Galaxias. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and after, uh, after I bought the whole series, Disney Plus came out with it, uh, the streaming, so I'm really happy about that. Y después de que compré todas las películas, fue que salió uh, lo que hace Disney ahora, que puedes verlo por internet. But uh, this season is often talked about, uh, you know, keep Christ in Christmas. Y nos enseñan en esta temporada que tenemos que dejar a Cristo en la Navidad. We have our Facebook preachers that like to really emphasize all of their one-liners and their, their little pictures with, you know, this is the reason for the season. Y vemos, es, 
vemos a esos predicadores en Facebook que les gusta poner sus frases de la Navidad y dicen que esta es la temporada, esta es la razón de la temporada. That's great. Y es algo muy bueno. But Jesus was not born on December 25th. Pero el Señor Jesús no nació en diciembre 25. So much revelation just flew into this place right now. Mucha revelación ha sido impartida en este lugar ahora. But regardless, it's a, it's a tradition, it's a wonderful season for us to remember and for us to celebrate the birth of Christ. Pero a pesar de que es una tradición, es una, un, un buen tiempo para recordar el nacimiento de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. And it's important that we recognize that This story that we read in Luke and in Matthew es importante que reconozcamos que esta historia que vemos en Mateo y en Lucas oftentimes we could look at it and say well I've read this a million times to my kids muchas veces podemos decir lo, lo he leído un millón de veces a mis hijos but when Jesus was born this story that we read was over a two year period pero cuando Jesús fue nacido la historia que estamos leyendo tomó tiempo If you look at the history, the wise men didn't come right when Jesus was born. But a lot of times we forget because we've read it so often. We forget that it was the first time that they heard about this. It was the first time that they experienced the birth of Christ. Nos olvidamos que esta fue la primera vez que ellos escucharon algo así que experimentaron el nacimiento del Señor. And so when we look in Luke chapter 1, y cuando miramos en Lucas capítulo 1, we see that an angel appears to Mary. Vemos que un ángel le apareció a María. And now before we even get there, y antes de que lleguemos ahí, it doesn't talk about the craziness that's going on during that time. No está hablando de todas las cosas que están pasando en ese tiempo. The Roman Empire is, uh, has a very strong hand in the politics. El Imperio Romano ha tomado control del, del movimiento político de ese tiempo. They're controlling that entire region. Y están controlando toda esa región. The religious of that day, it had been 400 years since they had uh, written or heard the voice of God. Y han pasado más de 400 años sin escuchar la voz del Señor. So the religious climate during that time was full of tradition. It was full of ritual. There was not a whole lot of jumping and shouting going on. Y el clima religioso en ese tiempo era muchos rituales. No había mucha danza, no había mucho salto en estos tiempos. It would be uh, wiser, it, it would be very uh, easy to say that it was not a, a great time, that there was a lot of adversity that was happening during the birth of Christ. Y había mucha adversidad durante estos tiempos. You see, Mary was espoused to Joseph. Y María estaba comprometida con José. That's an easy way to say that she was engaged. Es una, man una, fácil, una manera de decir que ellos estaban comprometidos. You know, Joseph was a carpenter. Y José era un carpintero. So while all of these crazy things are going on with the politics and with the religious tradition. Mientras que todo eso está pasando con la religión, la tradición y el movimiento político. He's a carpenter, which really just means he can't read very well. Él era un carpintero, lo que eso significa es que él no podía leer muy it, bien. It wasn't a union carpenter job. Él no era un carpintero de la unión. And they were from Nazareth. Y ellos eran de Nazaret. No good thing could come from Nazareth. Y ninguna cosa buena podía salir de Nazaret. Yet in the midst of adversity, pero en medio de la adversidad, a, an angel Gabriel comes to Mary. El ángel Gabriel se le aparece a María. And says, Mary, you are highly favored of God. Le dice, María, eres favorecida de Dios. You are highly favored of God. Eres muy favorecida de parte de Dios. In the midst of terrible circumstances. En medio de circunstancias terribles. Someone that really wouldn't have been the first choice. Alguien que no hubiera sido la primera opción. An angel appears. Un ángel aparece. The fullness of time comes. Y viene, pasa el tiempo. And God chose Mary el, to, to birth Jesus Christ. Y el Señor escogió a María para que ella sea la que traiga a nuestro Salvador. Now today... I am believing, and I know this to be true, is that God wants to impart something to us today. God has been preparing us throughout this entire service. In the verse that we read, it says that faith, hope, and love abideth, that it abides. 
Y el verso que leímos dice que permanecen la fe, la esperanza y el amor. Permanecen. And if you're going to be able to fix it up there, I'm going to... Okay, they're not going to be able to. So we will go in our Bibles and we will pull up some verses. We're going to be going to Romans chapter 5. Y vamos a ir a nuestras Biblias, Romanos capítulo 5. But when it talks about faith, hope, and charity, which is translated as love, y cuando estamos hablando de, de la fe, la esperanza y el amor, it's saying that it abides. What that means is, is that if you look at the context, dice que permanece cuando miramos al contexto, is that even when the Lord comes, these things will still abide. Faith will still abide. Love will still abide. Hope will still abide. Abide. Cuando miramos el contexto, cuando venga el Señor, esas cosas todavía van a permanecer. El so, amor, la esperanza y la fe. These are principles that are eternal. Esos son principios que son eternos. These are gifts from God that are everlasting. Son regalos de Dios que van por la eternidad. They abideth, so that means they stay. Permanecen, so, significa que se van a quedar. Today the gift of hope is going to be poured out. Hoy el regalo de la esperanza va a ser... That, bur that burning desire, that burning feeling that you are feeling today is what God is trying to birth in your spirit. So life comes at us, but faith, hope, and love will always abide. Turn with me to Romans chapter 5, and we're going to start with verse 1. It says, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Justificados, pues, por la fe, tenemos paz ahora con Dios por medio de nuestro Señor Jesucristo, por quien también tenemos entrada por la fe a esta gracia en la cual estamos firmes y nos gloriamos en la esperanza de la gloria de Dios. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Y no solo esto, sino que también nos gloriamos en las tribulaciones, sabiendo que la tribulación produce paciencia. And patience, experience, and experience, hope. Y la paciencia prueba y la prueba esperanza. And hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Y la esperanza no avergüenza porque el amor de Dios ha sido derramado en nuestros corazones por el Espíritu Santo que nos fue dado. Now this is not a part of the, 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 the message per se that, I, that the Lord has given me but the word... Uh, Right there in verse number five, shed abroad. It's the same word uh, in the Greek used for pour out. Y yo sé que esta no es la no es esta parte de mi mensaje, pero la palabra que dice derramado es la misma palabra que significa que fue derramado en el griego. What the scripture is referencing is that God's love was poured out through the Holy Ghost. That poured out word was the same word used in Acts chapter two on the day of Pentecost. Y lo que significa es que el Señor derramó su amor cuando nos dio su Espíritu Santo. So it's God's love that is poured out through his spirit, through the, the Holy Ghost coming into us. That is the love of God shed abroad. That's the love of God poured out. El amor de Dios ha sido derramado cuando recibimos el Espíritu Santo. Verse number six says, For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Versículo seis, Porque Cristo cuando aún éramos débiles, a su tiempo murió por los impíos. I'm going to read in the Amplified Version. If you have a, a phone, you could change the, the version type. It's called Amplified Version. Vamos a leer una diferente versión de la Biblia. And I'm going to read it again, but I'm going to start from verse number two. Y vamos a comenzar en el versículo dos. Through him also we have our access, its entrance, introduction, by faith into this grace, the state of God's favor, in which we firmly and safely stand. El versículo 2 en esta versión, que a través de él tenemos nuestro acceso, una entrada, una introducción, por fe en tu, en, en, para su gracia, el, el estado del, del favor de Dios, en el que estamos firmes. And let us 
rejoice and exult in our hope of experiencing and enjoying the glory of God. Y nos vamos a regocijar y exaltar en la esperanza de la experiencia y disfrutar de la gloria de Dios. Moreover, let us also be full of joy now. Let us exult and triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings. Y nos vamos a regocijar, estar llenos de gozo y vamos a ser exaltados y vamos a triunfar en nuestros problemas y nos vamos a regocijar en medio de nuestros sufrimientos. Knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produce patient and unswerving endurance. Sabiendo que la, pres la presión y la aflicción y las cosas fuertes producen paciencia y gran durez. And endurance fortitude develops maturity, notice this, of character, approved faith, and tried integrity. Y esta espera de desarrolla una, un, una maduración de nuestro carácter, en nuestra fe, y con integridad. And character of this sort produces, listen to this again, the habit of joyful and confident hope of eternal salvation. Y el carácter de esta manera produce un hábito de gozo y de confidencia de la nuestra esperanza en la salvación eterna. Amen. Are you guys able to put scripture up there yet? Romans chapter 5. Go with there. Go with me there and put up verse 3, please. Romanos capítulo 5, versículo 3. Can we lift our hands for a moment? Vamos a levantar nuestras manos por un momento. Father, align us with your word today. I pray against any distraction, Father. Anything that would hinder us from entering in to the promises that you have for us. Anything that would hinder us from receiving the engrafted word of God today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go uh, to verse 2, please. Versículo 2. There is a formula, a principle, and I want you guys to keep it up there while I'm talking, okay? Hay una forma, un principio. That God is trying to teach us. Algo que el Señor nos quiere enseñar. Verse number 3. Versículo 3. There are tribulations that we will go through. Van a haber tribulaciones que vamos a pasar. And so God is trying to teach us when it comes to hope, how do we deal with these tribulations? Y el Señor nos quiere enseñar, enseñar a través de la esperanza cómo podemos actuar cuando vengan tribulaciones. God is bringing us into a new decade. El Señor nos está trayendo una nueva década. He's bringing us into a season of maturity. Él nos está trayendo una temporada de madurez. Church, we are going into a new season where God is going to be sending those babies Estamos entrando en una temporada cuando el Señor va a enviar estos bebés. Into the nursery that we've built this year. En esta, en esta guardería que tenemos. I'm referencing promises that God has given this church. Estoy hablando de aquellas promesas que el Señor le ha dado a esta iglesia. And so, it's not if the tribulation comes, it's when it comes. Y no es si la tribulación viene, pero cuando la tribulación venga. That, that we know, knowing that tribulation, when we have it, when it comes, that it works patience. Sabiendo que cuando venga la tribulación va a producir paciencia. Next verse, please. And it's patience that produces experience. Y la paciencia produce experiencia. But the Daniel, we saw that the translation in the Amplified, it, experience means character. Y la traducción en la Biblia Amplificada es experiencia, es carácter. It produces good character. Un buen Why is that important? ¿Y por qué esto es Why does God care about our character, about our integrity? Al Señor le Because it's experience. La it's character in the tribulation. El en la it's what we say during the tribulation. Es lo que en la it's what we post during the tribulation. Es lo que en las redes en la It's how we speak to our spouse during the tribulation. Es con en la When everything is going to hell, todo está muy mal, it's what we do during that time that produces hope. Es lo que hacemos en esta temporada, lo que produce esperanza. So if you are in the middle of a challenge right now, si estás en medio de un desafío ahora, if you are in the middle of tribulation, si estás en medio de una tribulación, if there's something that you have no control over, si estás en algo que no tienes control, how are you acting? ¿Cómo estás actuando? How are you responding 
to the tribulation, to the afflictions that he promised us we would have. Como estás respondiendo a esa tribulación que el Señor dijo que íbamos a pasar. Jesus never in one moment said that we would not suffer for his name. El Señor nunca dijo que no íbamos a sufrir por su nombre. He never told us that we would not go through challenges, that we would be exempt from life. Él no dijo que no íbamos a pasar por pruebas y que no vamos a estar exentos de la vida. And so this is a principle that God is trying to birth within us today to take us to the next level. Ese es un principio que el Señor quiere que nosotros aprendamos para que podamos ir al siguiente nivel. So when God births this thing in us, this thing called hope. Y cuando el Señor permite que esto nazca de nosotros, esta cosa, esta esperanza. Next verse. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God was shed abroad in our hearts. Esta esperanza no nos avergüenza porque el amor de Dios ha sido derramado. Next verse. Go to Romans chapter 8. Lift your hands one more time. Levanta tus manos una vez más. God's doing something here. 8.24, please. Romanos 8.24. Romans 8.24. Thank you, Jesus. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he? He yet hoped for. Porque en esperanza fuimos salvos, pero la esperanza que se ve no es esperanza. Porque lo que alguno ve, a qué esperarlo. Next verse. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Pero si esperamos lo que no vemos, con paciencia lo aguardamos. So what do we do once we have developed the character needed? Entonces, ¿qué hacemos cuando hemos desarrollado nuestro carácter? What do we do once he has opened and enlightened our eyes to what is going on. ¿Qué hacemos cuando el Señor ha alineado nuestros ojos con lo que está pasando? We wait for it. Esperamos. We wait for it. Esperamos. You see, there, there's a principle here in the word. We notice that the first thing in 1 Corinthians, it said that it was faith, it was hope, and it was love that abideth. Hay un principio acá en la Biblia, vemos en 1 Corintios 13, 10, que está la fe, la esperanza y el amor. Hebrews 11, chapter 1, verse 1. Many of us know this by heart. The thing is, is that faith does not come first. Si miramos en Hebreos 11, la fe no viene primero. If you want to have faith, you must have hope. Si, tienes que, si quieres fe, debes tener esperanza. Love encapsulates all of these. That's why it's the greatest. El amor está por encima de estos dos. Es por eso que es el mayor. Because God is love. Porque Dios es amor. Nothing can be outside of God. Porque nada puede estar fuera de Dios. And so that's why it's the greatest. Y es por esto es que el amor es el más grande. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Put it up there please. Hebreos 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Es pues fe. La certeza de lo que se espera. La convicción de lo que no se ve. Keep it up there, please. Now, faith is the substance. It's the substance. It's the thing that I could see. Fe es la sustancia, lo que thing that puede, I could feel. Lo que puedo sentir. Faith is the substance of fe, the things that we have hoped for. Fe es la sustancia de aquellas cosas que hemos esperado. It's the evidence for when those things that we hoped for es la evidencia de estas cosas por las que estamos esperando. Are now visible. Ahora son visibles. Are you understanding that? ¿Estás entendiendo? Is that the things that we are hoping for, the things that we are desiring, the things that we are praying for. Aquellas cosas que estamos esperando, que estamos deseando, que estamos orando. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Estamos esperando y esperando. But God builds up that maturity. Pero el Señor construye esta madurez and then God brings us to the place to speak in faith y el Señor nos trae a este lugar para hablar, hablar en fe and it happens y esto sucede and those things which were not seen y esas cosas que no eran vistas are antes, now seen ahora se pueden ver we have desired to be used in the gifts tenemos deseo de ser usados con los dones del Espíritu what happens ¿qué pasa? we pray oramos we seek earnestly the gifts. 
buscamos con diligencia los dones. We pray, we have those moments at the altar where God gives us words where we desire to be used by him. Estamos orando en el altar, recibimos aquellas palabras que deseamos del Señor. We cultivate it. Estamos cultivando. We abide in the hope of the word that has been given to us. Permanecemos en la esperanza de aquella palabra que se nos ha sido dada. And when we walk in his will, y cuando caminamos en su voluntad, he speaks and then we speak in faith. El Señor nos habla y ahora nosotros hablamos en fe. We speak through him. Hablamos a través de él. We are the vessels that are speaking in faith. Somos aquellas vasijas que están hablando en fe. We can do nothing by our own authority. No podemos hacer nada en nuestra propia autoridad. We, we have no authority. No tenemos autoridad. It is only through him that we have the authority. Solo a través de él que tenemos la autoridad. And so when he speaks, y cuando el Señor habla, he speaks through us. Él habla a través de nosotros. And we were just talking about it the other day. We are simply that glove, that glove of flesh. Estamos hablando el otro día, somos este guante de carne. And he is the hand that sticks it into that glove. Y él es aquella mano que se pone este guante. He moves so we move. Él se mueve, entonces nosotros he nos speaks, movemos. He speaks so we speak. Él habla, entonces this nosotros hablamos. This is not hablamos. about us. This is about establishing his kingdom here in Chicago, here in this world. Eso no es acerca de nosotros, pero es acerca de establecer el reino de Dios en Chicago y en el mundo. So God is trying to teach us a pattern. Y el Señor está tratando de enseñarnos un patrón. He's trying to teach us what to do. Él nos está tratando de enseñar qué debemos hacer. When we're going through these challenges. Cuando estamos pasando por estos desafíos. Now, when I was praying for uh, this weekend. Cuando estaba orando en preparación para este fin de semana. The Lord didn't allow me to write anything down. El Señor no me permitió que yo escribiera nada. And he simply had me meditate on his words. Y yo estaba meditando en su palabra. On his scripture. Estaba meditando en las escrituras. The thing that I believe God is bringing us into for this year. Lo que yo creo que el Señor nos está trayendo para este año que entra. Is that we're going to go from hope. Es que vamos a ir, vamos a ir de, de la esperanza. We're going to go from speaking in faith. Vamos a pasar de hablar en fe. To having what we're speaking. Para recibir lo que estamos hablando. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to awaken the hope that is in you. Lo que estoy tratando de hacer ahora es despertar esta esperanza que está en ti. You see, God has been knocking on your door. El Señor ha estado tocando tu puerta. There has been something underneath the surface that has been building up in your spirit. Hay algo debajo de la superficie que se está levantando en tu espíritu. And God is putting a name to that today because you haven't been able to express what it is. Y el Señor le está poniendo un nombre porque no ha sido capaz de ponerle un nombre a esto. It's hope. Es esperanza. It's hope. Es la esperanza. God has given you hope. El Señor te ha dado esperanza. You see, when, when Mary was in this situation, when all of these things didn't seem like, like the right season. Cuando María estaba en esta circunstancia y cuando parecía que nada estaba en el lugar correcto. God stepped in. El Señor entró. You could be going through one of the worst seasons of your life right now. But when God says it's time for that word to come to pass, Pero it, el Señor diga que esta va a suceder, it happens. Va a pasar. You may be in this season of kind of going around in circles. Tal vez estás en una situación de andar en this is where I feel like many are at right now is that there's been a lot of um, cycles that you've gone through. Esto es lo que siento que muchos estamos en este lugar en muchos ciclos. We've had our really high peak moments with Chicago on fires, the different things. Tenemos momentos que estamos muy arriba la uh, Chicago en llamas, conferencias, diferentes lugares. But we haven't cultivated, if we're honest, we've gotten lax in some areas. No hemos cultivado, nos hemos relajado en muchas otras áreas. And I, I'm telling you this today and I will continue sharing this with you is that God is going to be separating those that are going forward from those that will stay in the shallow end. Y te digo esto para que lo pongas en práctica, el Señor va a empezar a separar los que van a ir más profundo y los que se van a quedar donde las aguas están cortas. I don't want to play in the kiddie pool anymore. Yo no quiero estar en la piscina para de los niños. But deep is calling to deep. Dice que el, el, lo más profundo está llamando a aquello más profundo. God is wanting to do something so Powerful, something 
so mind blowing. El Señor quiere hacer algo tan poderoso, algo que nos va a cambiar nuestras mentes. And here's the thing is I don't have to scream it at you. Y, y lo que pasa es que no tengo que gritártelo. I don't have to get all boisterous and crazy, but in your spirit right now, you feel it in the Holy Ghost. You feel that unction of hope right now. You feel that faith that has been building up inside of you all this year. No tengo que decirlo muy alto, pero tú sientes esta voz, esto que, esta unción que sientes en tu espíritu. Raise your hands right now. Vamos a levantar nuestras manos. Speak in the spirit right now. Vamos a hablar en el espíritu. Rasta lolo de corra mas siamola mas oyendo la de corra y en la mas cuando la mas siamola de corra mas rasta lolo de corra mas. I um I walked into to my living room last night. Entré a mi sala anoche. And I picked up a, this little book. Recogí un libro muy pequeño. It was a book that I, I write in during different fasts and different things. Tengo un libro que escribo de diferentes cosas cuando estoy ayunando. And I started weeping. Y empecé a llorar. As I was going through different pages. Cuando estaba revisando estas diferentes páginas. I looked at the years. 2013, 2014. Oh, these different, these different seasons that God had brought me through personally, but also as a family. Estas diferentes situaciones que el Señor me trajo personalmente, pero también con mi familia. And I read through promises that God had given me during those fasts. Y leí aquellas promesas que el Señor me había dado durante esos ayunos que yo estaba haciendo. I remember, I reminded myself of the season that I was in. Estaba recordando en aquella temporada en la que yo me encontraba. The pain that I was feeling. El dolor que estaba sintiendo. I remember looking at the words on the page that said, God, you called me to my first 21 day fast. Estaba mirando y, y recuerdo cuando el Señor me llamó al primer ayuno de 21 días. I wrote on there, I've only fasted three days before. Y yo escribí, solo he ayunado por tres días antes. And now you want me to fast 21 days. Y ahora quieres que ayune 21 días. And I'm looking at the date and I'm just crying. Y estoy mirando la fecha y estoy llorando. Because it was that fast that God answered the, the $51,000 offering that we had. Porque fue durante ese ayuno que el Señor nos dio una ofrenda de 50 mil dólares. It was that fast that the Lord opened the door to go over to Progressive and for us to multiply. Fue durante ese ayuno que el Señor abrió la puerta para que fuéramos a esta iglesia y pudiéramos seguir creciendo. That fast was in 2014. That was my first 21-day fast. En el 2014 fue mi primer ayuno de 21 días. And God reminded me of these promises that I, I wrote down on, on paper. Y el Señor me estaba recordando aquellas promesas que yo escribí. I laughed at a few of them. Me reí de algunas de ellas. Because even now I think some of them are crazy. Porque... Unas de ellas son un poco locas. But I was also reminded of many of the promises that have not come to pass yet. Pero también recordé aquellas promesas que no han pasado todavía. You see, there's pressure oftentimes for us to perform, especially in a pastoral role. Hay mucha presión de que como para performar cosas. People coming to me saying, hey, what, what's going on with the building fund? What, where's the building? What's happening with all these things. You don't talk about it anymore. Muchas personas vienen y me preguntan qué está pasando con el el fondo pro templo, con la nueva construcción, qué está pasando con esto. Ya no hablas de la construcción. Why why is this happening in the church? Why is this person doing that thing? What's going on with this? ¿Por qué esta persona está haciendo esto en la iglesia? ¿Qué está pasando? Other things I want to say, but I'm not going to say. Otras cosas que pasan, pero no voy a decir. But you see our flesh puts pressure on us our our spirit at times even puts pressure on us nuestra carne muchas veces nuestro espíritu también pone presión en nosotros to birth Ishmael when God is trying to birth an Isaac within us para que nazca el Ismael pero el Señor quiere que nazca Isaac and sometimes if we're not careful during that tribulation 
during that trial. Si no somos cuidadosos durante esta tribulación, durante esta prueba, we could get impatient. Podemos ser impacientes. And he's telling us to be patient. Cuando el Señor nos dice que seamos pacientes. That's one of the hardest things I've had to learn. Una de las cosas más difíciles que yo tuve que aprender. To be patient. Ser paciente. Is to wait with hope. Esperar con esperanza. I'm telling you all of this because I'm praying that during this time you have been bringing to mind the promises that God has given you. Y te he compartido todo esto para que traigas a tu mente aquellas promesas que el Señor te ha dado. You see, God has spoken specific things to this church, but also specific things to you. El Señor ha dado promesas específicas para la iglesia, pero también promesas específicas para ti. I was brought here to remind you to wait patiently with that hope. Yo estoy aquí para recordarte que es para que esperes con paciencia esta esperanza. Because it is coming. Porque va a venir. And it's coming soon. Y va a venir pronto. God is about to do something so radical in this place. El Señor va a hacer algo tan radical en este lugar. He is about to use some of you in the most powerful way that this world has ever seen. El Señor va a hacer alguno de ustedes en la manera más poderosa como nunca antes se ha visto. Sister Aaron, there's songs yet to be written. Hay canciones que se van a escribir, hermana Erin. There's people in the street that are yet to be healed by the power of God, and they're going to want to know what church are they from. Hay personas en las calles que van a ser sanas, y ellos van a saber de qué iglesia somos. God is waiting for for us to have the wisdom to speak to that person, that millionaire, that person that's just going to be walking by us, and we're going to say, God told me to tell you this. El Señor quiere nos quiere dar sabiduría para que le hablemos a aquella persona rica y le digamos eso. And we are going to walk into one of the greatest revivals that this city has ever seen. Y vamos a entrar en los mayores avivamientos que esta ciudad ha visto. God is shaking the very foundation of everything that is not true. El Señor está sacudiendo aquella fundación de lo que no es verdad. The latter rain is for those that believe the truth. La lluvia tardía es para aquellos que creen la verdad. The, the faith movement, the different ones that have spoken half truths, it, their time is over. God's time for the truth is about to spread throughout this nation. Aquellos que predican la media verdad, su tiempo ha acabado, pero los que predican la verdad. God is about to transform entire congregations. El Señor está listo para mover congregaciones completas. Would you stand with me for a moment? Ponte de pie conmigo. I bind that spirit of unbelief right now. Yo ato el espíritu de la duda. You have no place in here. No tienes lugar. You will be removed right now in the name of Jesus. Ser reprendido en el nombre de Jesús. Would you raise your hands with me for a moment? Levanta tus manos. The Lord is sweeping over this place right now. El Señor se está moviendo en este lugar. And the Lord is just wanting to to drop drop different things on you right now in the spirit and I want us just to flow right now there are gifts that have been hovering over you for so long and, and the reason why you have not operated in it is because you've been asking for the gift and not being in the will of God you need to be in the will of God in order for him to use you in that gift. Otherwise, it's strange fire. God is trying to get us so much in tune with his voice. You see, this is just equipping. This is what this is right now, is God is trying to equip you so that when you walk out, when you walk out, you are then in full operation. Nos estamos equipando para que cuando salgamos estemos listos. Plug into the spirit right now. Plug into what God is doing. Get recharged. Conéctate en el espíritu. Conéctate con lo que el Señor te está dando. Recárgate. Levanta tus manos. Raise your hands. This is sign of surrender right Levanta now. Levanta tus manos. Es una señal Every de... Every spirit that is trying to affect this service right now, I bind it in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove your Jesús, hands Señor, off of your people. Off of the people right now. 
off of anybody that is being afflicted right now by the enemy. I remove the hand of the enemy, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus that every person that has been hearing the voice of accusation, God, you have spoken it. You have spoken it, and it is removed from their mind right now. You will have no power. You will have no authority over the people of God. I pray today in the name of Jesus that the knowledge of Christ would flow throughout this place. Father, that the eyes of our understanding would be open in the name of Jesus. Father, open our ears. Open our eyes to the spirit, to the spirit of what you are saying. In the name of Jesus, I want you just to speak right now. Speak right now into the atmosphere. Every voice, everything that you have heard from him, his promises will come to pass. Every voice. Cualquier, todas las promesas que el Señor te ha prometido van a suceder. Decláralo. Remind yourself. Remind yourself right now. Remind yourself of what he has spoken to you. No olvides aquello que el Señor te ha hablado. No olvides lo que el Señor te ha hablado y te ha prometido. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, how passionate are you? How much do you desire for it to come to pass? I challenge you, get that passion kindling back in your spirit. ¿Qué tanto deseas? ¿Qué tanto deseas? Si hay pasión en tu espíritu. Oh, God. God, forgive us for complacency. God, forgive us for just going through the, the motions, Lord. I pray today, Father, every worshiper, every leader in this place, God, rekindle that passion, Lord. Rekindle, God. Lord, the burden for the lost. Rekindle, God. Perdónanos, Señor, por estar tan cómodos, Jesús. Aviva una vez más, Come on. Señor, la you should be getting out of your seat right now. You should be getting out of your seat right now. God, consume me. God, consume me. Jesús, lléname, Señor, consume, Señor. Aleluya, aleluya. Oh, Jesus. Some of us need some fresh repentance right now. Some of us need to just repent and let them wash your eyes out with tears. Muchos de nosotros debemos arrepentirnos, dejar que el Señor nos lave con lágrimas. Come on, revival begins with repentance. Let there be a revival of repentance. Un avivamiento comienza con arrepentimiento. Deja que haya un avivamiento de arrepentimiento. Putting my will above your will, God. Forgive me of the iniquity in my life. Quita, Señor, la iniquidad de mi vida. Come on, hope is abiding. Hope is abiding here today. Faith is abiding here today. Love is abiding here today. La esperanza permanece, la fe permanece, el amor permanece. Come on, some of us just are waiting to hear a little tickle of the ivories. We're waiting to hear a little music right now. We need to learn how to pray. We need to learn how to tap in to what he's doing without our emotions being tickled. Come on, church. Estamos esperando que comience la música, pero debemos aprender a orar, sin, a aprender a orar sin música, sin las emociones.
Come on, God is shifting. God is shifting hearts right now. He is shifting us into a place of faith right now. He is wanting us to begin speaking things into existence. El Señor nos está moviendo. El Señor nos está moviendo a fe. El Señor quiere que hablemos cosas en la existencia. God, forgive us for our prayerlessness. Forgive us for our prayerlessness, Lord. Some of us have been too much in our flesh, God. I pray today, Lord, that from this day forward, God, Lord, that we would not just cater to our flesh, God, but we would begin filling our spirit, God, with the nutrients that it needs, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, Lord, a passion for prayer, God, a passion for fasting, Lord. Let a spirit of prayer, God, flow into this place right now. Let a spirit of fasting, God, take over us, Lord. Take over us, God. Take over us, God. Take over us, Lord. Señor, perdónanos, Señor, con nuestra falta de oración, Señor. Pero derramo un espíritu de oración en nosotros, Señor. Que no cultivemos la carne, Señor, pero que cultivemos en el espíritu, Jesús. Aleluya. Raise your hands. Levanta tus manos. God is wanting every single ministry that is in this place. El Señor quiere que cada ministro en este lugar. This next year we are breaking down every single silo. Vamos a dejar a un lado. Every single ministry that is trying to be their own little thing. It is being broken down and we are going forward in one direction. Porque el ministerio que quiera seguir solo, vamos a romper estas barreras y vamos a seguir unidos. We are going forward unidos. in one direction. Vamos a his vision, en la misma dirección. his mission to reach this city. Su misión, su visión de alcanzar la ciudad. God, I pray today that you would remove anyone that will try to stand in the way of what you are trying to do in these last hours. I pray, Father, that you would politely move them out of the way, God, and help us put in place every person, God, that is to be in position, Lord, for what you're wanting to do, God. I pray today every person in this place would be in alignment, God, with what you are wanting to do, Lord. Father, Bring us to a place of unity that will destroy the, cap the enemy, that will destroy and release the captive. Bring us to a place of unity, God, that will be like none other that has happened in this day, in this age, God. Bring us into the new decade with authority. Lord, bring us into a place, God, that expands our thinking, that expands what we could expect, that expands, God, what we could ask or think. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.